Hi, this is Cheryl with Peace and Power Movement Services. I, I want to talk today a little bit about um, having a stiff neck. Um, you know, I have clients that come to me and they wake up in the morning and their neck is stiff or they find at the end of the workday that, you know, they really, um, you know, come back into their body and realize how stiff and sore their neck is. And so we, we have this habit that when something hurts, we look at it, we look at the neck for um, as the cause of the issue. And you know, in the work that I do, I'm really always trying to approach it from the whole person. And so noticing what happens above and what happens below the neck that creates the, the stiffness, that creates the discomfort and pain. And so a really simple cause when you go above you know, our head weighs quite a bit. And so the muscles of the neck are, are designed literally to support our head all day. But when we hold our head in an alignment that's, you know, radically off of the base of the neck, so forward, you know, craning forward to look at a screen, or <clears throat> I've really noticed, you know, in a lot of Zoom meetings, people are listening kind of at an angle. And so it immediately adds um, more work to the muscles of your neck. And so, um, you know, one kind of simple idea is that if your muscles are already doing one thing, there's less muscle fibers uh, available to, to do other work. And so that stiffness, that soreness is a protective mechanism from my nervous system to just say, hey, you know, you, you've been doing this work, whether you're conscious or not, so stop doing this and, and you know, rest and recover. So that's looking, you know, upstream in terms of what the issue might be. If we look downstream a little bit, um, often another culprit is this, this way that we kind of sit with our shoulders rolled forward. And so that's really important for all the muscles of our upper back um, because as soon as they're involved in holding not only the weight of our head and neck, but also our shoulders forward, they are not available to support the neck muscles as much to hold the weight of the head up. And so it's another example that unconscious work uh, happening below means that those muscles of the neck take on like double duty to support your head, to support, you know, where you're looking, how, how you're moving around in your environment. So next time your neck is sore, you know, take a little look above and below what's going on so you could help out your neck muscles a little bit and, and get, give it a break. Uh, that it so so dearly deserves. So take good care. Here's to your good movement today.